When you're halfway through a challenge and you think that you just blew it, like falling off a log, just get up and don't poo poo it. Adventure's loads of fun, seize them and pursue it. Take that leap of faith, find the will and do it. We can do it, we can do it. There's really nothing to it with help from our friends to work our own way through it. We can do it, we can do it. We can really do it. We've got the skill, just have the will and do it. Do it, true friends help can come in many shapes and sizes, especially when that friend is me, a master of disguises. We can do it, we can do it. There's really nothing to it. With help from our friends to work our own way through it. We can do it, we can do it. We can really do it. We've got the skill, just have the will. We've got the skill, just have the will. And do it! Well, look! You got a letter from your great Aunt Vicky. Dear Will, the last time you were here, you helped me clean up my yard and plant the bo bog uh... Bougainvilleas. The flowers, remember? They are blooming and look beautiful. To say thank you, I'm enclosing a gift cert... Certificate. To use any way you like. Love, your great Aunt Vicky. Twenty-five dollars! Wow, that's a lot of money. It's all mine? Yes, and you can buy whatever you want with it. Can we go to the store now? Extra super, please? Let me clean up a few things first. I never bought something on my own before, and there are so many choices. What do I get? It's a gift. Buy what makes you happy. What should I pick? What should I do? Is it koi number one or koi number two? I wish I knew automatically. Maybe it's best to choose koi number three. When decisions are hard, just relax. Take the time and sort out the facts. Is it something you need or something you want? Like all the desserts in a dessert restaurant. Decisions, decisions. How are you supposed to know? Decisions, decisions. What to choose or which way to go? With some decisions, you really can't lose, like have a day at the beach or a day at the zoo. Or which toy to buy that'll be the most fun. But still think it through so you'll pick the best one. Decisions, decisions. How are you supposed to know? Decisions, decisions. What to choose or which way to go? So I'm thinking of buying a vacation house for my parents. Or a private jet would be cool. I would get a box of tissues. Why a box of tissues, Wince? <laughs> and a pillow. Will, Sam's here to say hi. We're leaving in two minutes. It's just like money, except I'm the only person in the world who can spend it. Wow. Hey, Will, ever talk to a salesperson without your parents? My mom asks a lot of questions, like, where's it made? Is it cotton? Is there a warranty? Who's warranty? I don't know, but he's not good for more than a year. Okay, remember, take your time and buy something you really like. I'll be right there if you need me. No problemo, Mom. I'll be out of here in two minutes. Do it, look. Is that a Plathco 150? This might be a time to ask the salesman. <laughs> Hi, my name's Will, and I have a gift certificate for a lot of money. For my great aunt Vicky, because I helped her plant some balonis, and my mom is right over there keeping an eye on me. And I need to look for a toy, and I'm buying it all on my own. Would you mind answering some questions? <laughs> Not at all. That's my job. Could you please tell me what kind of batteries the Plathco 150 takes? Oh, well, give me one minute, and I'll get it down. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Where was this made? Uh, I'll check when I come down. It should be on the box. This paint set is awfully cool. <laughs> what? Ooh. Excuse me, one more question? Ask away. Do these night vision goggles see through walls? 
No, that would be x-ray vision goggles. Do you have those? Sorry, no. Look, a cowboy with his own horse. I assume it's his own horse. You can leave your behind on a horse, but never leave your horse behind. Four AA batteries. So, would you like to buy it? No, that's the Plathco 150. The 160 is better. I was just wondering what kind of batteries it took. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean for you to work so hard. Does that mean I have to buy it now? Oh, no, no, that's all right. Eh, part of my job. Hi, Will. Lunch time. Did you pick something out? No. And the man had to climb a ladder, but it wasn't the toy I wanted, and I think I made him angry. No, honey. He is specially trained to answer questions and help us buy things. Did you treat him with respect and... Respect and constellation. Well, uh, consideration. It's a big decision, and it's getting late. Why don't we come back tomorrow? The super action figure. That's an 8 out of 10. The paint set was neat. I'd say... 7? No, wait. If the paint set is 7, the action figure was a 9. Let's make it out of 15 and not 10. What if I buy the action figure, but it's the paint set I wanted all along and it wasn't a 7, it was a 14? No, a 13. Calm down, Grasshopper. It is just toy for enjoyment. Like ketchup on hamburger. Like walk on sandy beach. Ketchup on sandy beach? Not good. You don't think I can make a mistake? You? Nah, and with that much money, you can have your cake and eat it, too. Okay, I want us to be home in time to eat dinner with your dad. I'll be right over there. Go on, you heard what your mom said. Answering questions and helping is his job, as long as you do it with respect and carbonation. Consideration. Excuse me, sir. Hi. Remember me? <laughs> yes, I think we met yeah. yesterday. I'm trying to buy something special and I've got a gift certificate. Your great aunt's bolognas. I remember. Come on, let's take a look around. Is this cotton? 100%. Now, what kind of toys do you like? The fun kind. Do these basketballs come with air in them already? They may have to be pumped a little. How did they get the sand in this? Well, they, uh, there's a, um... Wow! What's this? Well, you get a friend and you each take a racket. Hey, you're pretty good. Programs, popcorn, foam frog hand. I'm afraid this might be a little more than your bolognas are worth. Mom, this is the most fun game I've ever played. Hmm, we'll come back again. Deciding is about the hardest thing I've ever done. Like getting gum out of your hair? You've never had gum in your hair, honey. Could one day. Zoom, stick, yuck. Will is doing a great job. He's examining different toys and really thinking about his purchase. Good job. It's hard work, huh? I'll tell you what. Let's go back to the store tonight. I bought the wrong socks for Fred anyway. Can I come too? Yeah, I could use extra help. Oh, <laughs> this is my little sister, Kate. Oh, pleased to meet you. The thing is, I've got all this money and I don't want to make a wrong decision. How about we line up all the toys you're considering? Leave uh 25 minus 4, carry the million. $21. I could buy a whole other toy. Wow, I could get everything on that table for $20. Uh, monetarily speaking, I think they're referring to each individual item, not all of them. Oh, mom broke her vase, her favorite one. The blue one with the bees? She was sad. I have to happy her up. Which one makes you happiest? 
<laughs> the way I see it, I can have half my cake and eat it through. Awesome choice. Hey, let's get back to the grotto and watch everyone spit out their worms laughing. Wait, I've got one more stop to make. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Great choice, Will. <laughs> I haven't laughed so hard in years. <laughs> I got something else, too. Mom, I just wanted to thank you for taking me to the store so many times. Oh, Will, thank you. This is my new favorite vase. Nice work. I help pick it to make you not sad. When decisions are hard, just relax. Take the time and sort out the facts. And you might find that what you want to do is make a decision that's not all about you. Decisions, decisions. How are you supposed to know? Decisions, decisions. What to choose and which way to go? Decisions, decisions. What to choose and which way to go? Pickles, great. Mallow mushies, all right. Don't worry, all your favorite foods are going in. My favorite food's crepe slushies, but they make my mustache purple and some of the ruder seagulls laugh at me. Food, 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 food beautiful food. food. You just can't beat what's good to eat. Baked, broiled, fried, or stewed. Food, 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 food beautiful food. food. It's sure to make your day complete and put you in a better mood. Corn and cheddar cheese. I like crickets, if you please. Broccoli, pickles, carrots, and cake. Potatoes with the juicy steak. Pancakes, bacon, toast, and eggs. Eggs, eggs, and more eggs. Apples, pears, ice cream, and pie. Tasty, yes, but I'll have fly. Food, food, food. Food, beautiful food. Cold or barbecued. Whatever it is you like to eat, a healthy diet is hard to beat. There's lots of food that's good for you and keep your tummy happy, too. Just can't beat what's good to eat. Baked, broiled, fried, or stewed. Food, 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 Did we mention we're going out to a new restaurant tonight? Yeah! Wow. Yay! Coloring! A Mediterranean restaurant. Do they have coloring? Yes, they do. Okay. Where's Mediterranean? Ask your teacher, she'll show you. Al Corlani has great food. You'll love it. No, I don't trust foreign restaurants. Instead of butter for your bread, you know what they have? What? A tambourine full of puppet faces. Miss Breeze, where's Mediterranean? Oh, you mean the Mediterranean region. Well, that's all the countries bordering the Mediterranean Sea. Greece, Italy, Turkey, Morocco, Egypt. Why do you ask? I'm going there for dinner. Oh, you're probably going to Al Corlani. Yeah, that's it. Do they have burgers? And delivery menus for other restaurants? Well, they could probably cook burgers, but that's not why you go there. You go to experience something new. But I don't like something new. I like something old. Pickles, cookies, ordinary bread with butter, and not puppet faces. But, Will, how do you get to like all the things you already like? Careful. Trick question. I ate them since forever, and I got to like them. Tell you what. I'll print a page of facts about Mediterranean food for you to look at during recess. Sam, could you invite me over for dinner tonight? Sure. Why? Because my mom and dad are going to Turkey and Greece for dinner, and I just want a hot dog. Otherwise, look what I'll have to eat. Baklava shawarma? Tabuli couscous? Those don't even sound like food. They sound like cars. I don't 
think Mediterraneans eat cars, but you never know. My parents love that restaurant. But parents like a lot of weird things. I'll call and invite you over. Maybe you can avoid having to eat any Baklau Warma Coos. You look troubled, Will. I'm waiting for an important call to get out of going to Al Corlani. What's that? A restaurant where they don't have anything I know. Not even hot dogs. Oh. <gasps> I just remembered I have a buddy in the Mediterranean. Which country? No country. In the Mediterranean Sea. His name's Froggins of Arabia. I know it's worrying you. It's a new experience and kids are nervous about new things. Guys, let's show them the worst it could possibly be so Will can see there's nothing to worry about. Welcome, customer. May I take your hat? and give it to a camel who will eat it? I don't know whether to eat this or wear it on my humps. Oh, what the hay. Nom, nom, nom. Please, customer, have a seat. Oh, we don't have chairs in Mediterranea. We sit on a rake, leaning on a bush. Comfortable? Ask for water. Can I get a glass of water, please? We don't get water here until the winter. Have a glass of dust. Ask for the menu. Can I please see a menu? We don't have menus. We yell the food choices at you through a long cardboard tube. Tonight we have slop and pack, schloop and pack, or clot and pack. Today's special is whatever falls out of that tree. Half a kite covered in crow feathers. Mmm. Ask about the food. What's in the clotten pack? We can't tell you. Why not? Because then nobody would eat it. You guys are exaggerating. Come on, raccoons eat everything. Not true. We don't eat, um, uh, harmonicas. <clears throat> Very often. Well, that's the worst it could be. Ridiculous, right? So what do you think, Will? Thanks, guys. You've taught me a really valuable lesson. If you want me, I'll be at Sam's eating hot dogs. Hello? Sam, what a surprise. Really? Yes, I would love to. Mom, can I eat dinner at Sam's? He's having something really good and nutritious for children. My amphibian radar says she isn't buying it. Oh, hello, Sam. We're taking everyone to a restaurant tonight. But if you're serving nutritious food for children next week, could Will come over then? Great. Well, say hi to your parents. Tell everyone in school it was nice knowing them. If I spill Schloop and Pock on my good shirt, maybe they'll let me go home. I talked to Froggins. Guess what? Baklava's like candy. It's dough with chopped nuts sweetened with honey. That sounds okay, but what about the couscous and the toilet bully? Tabuli. I'm not sure, but I think they're bicycle seats in jam and alligator's teeth on a string. We're here. I found some candy under the seat. I'll just sit in the car. Oh, look. I'll stay here and eat this yummy grape I found. Nobody's sitting in a car eating leftover pocket food while there's a great restaurant eight steps away. But well, I don't like stuff I don't like. Like being yelled at through a cardboard tube. No fun. Make you a deal. If you try it and you don't like it, you can have anything you want at home, okay? 
Hello, welcome to Alcorlani. Would you folks like some tabbouli to start? I believe that's a train whistle dipped in gravel. Could you explain to our kids what's in that? Finely chopped scallions, they're a mild onion, plus herbs, wheat, parsley, and mint. And train gravel. Oh, it's really good. You scoop it onto lettuce leaves and eat it with your hands. What's that thing that starts with H? Hat boxes with melted cheese, a house specialty. Oh, you mean hummus. That's ground chickpeas. Plus sesame, lemon juice, and garlic. You like those in salads. It's a trick. They're putting good tasting things in to make you like it. That doesn't sound bad. No pizza, huh? We could make you a Mediterranean pizza on pizza bread uh, with chicken, rice, lamb, mushrooms, tomato sauce. It's delicious. I'd like that too. And crayons, please. This pizza should be called the Willeterranean because I invented it. What are those meatballs? Falafels. That's peas, onion, and parsley cooked in a ball. This is shawarma. Slices of all different meats roasted over a wood fire. Want some on your pizza? Yes, please. It was great. When I eat at Sam's, I'm going to suggest his parents go there. They really should get out more. Croak bottom boys. Food, 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 beautiful food. There's lots of good new things to eat, so keep an open attitude. To bully and pita may not seem yummy, don't ask your eyes, ask your tummy. Try new foods, it's really neat. And you'll discover a brand new treat. Food, 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 beautiful food. There's lots of good new things to eat, so keep an open attitude. Food, 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 food. food.